Outlaws get a pretty good rap in English history generally. When most people think of outlaws in the context of castles, they think of Robin Hood and a romantic life living out in the woods. And usually the fact that living out in the woods means a camping trip with no tent and no toilet blocks is usually glossed over. Um, the room we're in the keep now, the jail, the basement, whatever you want to call it, um, was used as the county prison for hundreds of years. And it was the room where a real life gang of outlaws spent their last nights on earth before being taken outside for one of the most gruesome punishments imaginable. Sir William Lyle was a knight, and a war hero in fact. He'd fought the Scots and the French defending Wark Castle against a siege during the days of Henry VIII. But um, unfortunately, like a great many people in uh, the days of Henry VIII, um, he upset the wrong person. And upsetting the powerful is, well, it's never a good idea in any time period. But he got on the wrong side of Cardinal Wolsey and was thrown in jail here in Newcastle, along with his son, chained to the wall in uh, what must be one of the dankest prisons in England. However, less than a year passed before a daring prison break, and they went on the run in Northumberland along with a gang of Scots and other outlaws that they'd freed from the prison. They went on the rampage, kidnapping, murdering, robbing, rustling cattle, you know, all the usual stuff that, again, gets glossed over in all the romantic stories of outlaws. But uh, at any rate, it didn't last long. Within a couple of years, Sir William Lyle was recaptured by the, the Earl of Northumberland and was brought back here to the grim prison underneath the castle keep, um, where he spent a few miserable days before his trial and then found himself sentenced to be hanged, drawn, and quartered. Compared to that, Punishments like the stocks must seem pretty, st pretty small fry, and in fact they were. This would have been for minor crimes. Hanging, drawing and quartering was reserved for treason. And Sir William Lyle was accused of treason for having crossed the border to Scotland before carrying out some of his raids. He would have been taken outside, dragged through the streets behind a horse, hanged until it really hurt, and then cut down so that he could be disemboweled alive. His stomach cut open, and his guts removed one by one and burned in front of his face before finally, um, presumably, uh, at some point during this, he died and then was beheaded and his body cut into four quarters which were mounted on the roof of the keep as a warning to others not to cross the law 